Hi everyone, it's Enes here, and welcome to another episode. This week we're in New York City and about to tour this stunning 79th floor residence located at the iconic 432 Park Avenue building. Designed by the world-renowned artist and architect Hiroshi Sugimoto, this full floor residence has exquisite finishes paired with Japanese aesthetics and gets phenomenal views of Central Park and the whole city. This residence is currently being marketed as an off-market listing for $135 million. I want to thank the listing agents Noel Burke and Elizabeth Mercedes Burke for giving us the honor to tour this phenomenal residence and share our experience with all of you. And now, let's begin our tour. Here we are at the private landing for this unit. We have two elevators coming up to this side, dark plaster walls mixed with charcoal, giving it that nice contrast. And right behind me, we have a contemporary digital art setting the mood for the Japanese aesthetics that we're gonna see in a bit. Now, a little bit of information about this unit. We got five bedrooms, five full baths, two half baths, an 8,055 square feet of interior space. And as always, you can find more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. Now, the private landing brings us right here where we have the entry foyer. On my right hand side, we have the first hallway taking us to a very unique room that we're gonna see in a bit. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about in this space are these floors. What I'm standing on right now are these old paving stones brought from Kyoto, Japan. And I love the installation here with these big grout lines and the gravel in between. And it leads us to this walkway with a 400 year old cedar platform that takes us to that unique room that we're gonna see in a bit. Right on top, you have cedar ceiling design that was hand sliced in a cedar frame, which is super unique plaster walls and the other side of this hallway takes us to a coat closet which then leads us to the salon. This is without a doubt one of the most impressive spaces within this unit. It's all open, gets ton of natural light, we got beautiful cedar floors throughout and of course you see the phenomenal views throughout the room that we're going to talk about in a bit. The first thing I want to cover is this planter design right in the center built out of cedar bark and right on each side we have bonsai trees that are over 60 years old which is amazing giving this space a life and kind of grounding energy right in the center we have this komatsu stone placed in this planter with river rocks around it and we're going to see the stone detail in another room later in the video as well right next to the planter we have the dining area beautiful 400 year old cedar table with a zinc leg that runs the entire length of this table design sits 12 people and I love the curvature that it has in fact they carried out the same curvature detail to these chairs which looks phenomenal all the furniture in this unit was custom designed for this space and it comes with the sale of this home as well so I wanted to mention that now going this way we have plaster walls throughout and right in front of me we have the amazing views of the city this room gets south and west facing views. And from this angle, we get insane views of the city, Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, all the way to downtown Manhattan where we can see the One World Trade Center, which is phenomenal. We are on 79th floors. Honestly, it doesn't get much better. Now, on the west side, we can see the billionaires row and the iconic buildings like 111 West 57, Central Park Tower, Hudson River. Again, views are phenomenal. Now, this space, flow to this side where we have this bar section, dual elevation, brass base complemented with the cabinetry on this side, beautiful Corian countertops, and they use the same material to collab the drawer fronts as well as the side of the cabinetry here. Same brass base actually continues and you can see it as a shallow backsplash here where they have the outlets. We have a small fridge here, 
your sink design, overall a great bar setup that complements the salon. Now, before we leave this room, there's actually one more detail I wanna talk about, which are these cedar shutters. Now, we're gonna see these shutters throughout the unit and they are built out of cedar with this really thin frame. And to reinforce the frame and make sure it stays rigid, they actually have acrylic back panels. That way these shutters stays rigid and it diffuses the light that comes into the unit. Also, the way these shutters work are pretty straightforward. You can either have them halfway up where you see the city views, you can have them halfway down where you see the sky, or you can have one panel up, one panel down. That way you can fully block out the sun that comes into this unit. Now, before leaving here, there's actually one more detail I wanna mention. I love how these shutter details tucks behind the edges of this window opening. That way you don't have any sun or light seeping through the edges. Now, following here, we have an additional seating area within this salon, all open. Again, nice, comfortable seating section. I love this circular light design that they have it seamlessly recessed in to the ceiling. And right next to that, they actually have an art piece here that kind of resembles what they have created here, which is super cool. Overall, salon is a great place. And this opening right here with this custom pocket door opens up to the tea room. Now this room is very unique and something we've never seen before. The lead designer and the architect of this residence, Hiroshi Sugimoto, was initially hired to design the tea room alone. But then later, once the owners saw his design, they fell in love with it and they ended up hiring him to do the entire apartment. That's why we're gonna see the same wood textures, stone details, and the Japanese aesthetics throughout this unit. Now this room has this elevated section here with tatami mats. Right in the center, we have an electric boiler since it's a tea room. And on the right hand side, we have this art niche with clay walls. But more importantly, you have this beautiful 10 by 10 opening facing the best views. And I don't know if you can see from this angle, but you can actually look down on Central Park, see Hudson River. Again, every part of this apartment gets phenomenal views. Also, I gotta mention these stone textures that Hiroshi puts throughout the units. We have one right here, a rock sitting in a concrete that has been acid washed with a seamless transition. And every time we see these transitions, you can actually see the beautiful precision brass inlay. We're gonna see that throughout the pocket doors and other parts of the unit as well. Now, this is the hallway that I mentioned earlier, connecting you from the entry to the tea room. We have another sliding pocket door here opening up to the primary bedroom hallway that we're gonna see later in the video. Now I wanna take everybody back to the salon. Again, this space is all open, gets ton of natural light, amazing views. And I wanna mention something. Some of you may be wondering, why am I not wearing shoes? Now in Japanese culture, you don't wear shoes inside. And we kind of wanted to follow the theme of this apartment and take our shoes, wear these slippers, which are really comfortable and do the tour this way. Now. Let's show this Mikey. We have a hallway here connecting to two powder rooms and the other wing of the apartment, which we're gonna see in a bit. And I wanna take everybody to the end of this room because we have another sliding pocket door here opening up to the kitchen. Beautiful chestnut flooring throughout. We have the island right in the center. Behind me, we have the espresso maker, small wine fridge, and following the base cabinets here, we have the first sink and the dishwasher on this side. Now I like the contrast here with the lighter tones on the base cabinets and these hand hammered aluminum panels on the uppers and we're gonna see more on the pantry side in a bit. And I wanna bring everybody's attention to the islands for a second. Number one, we have these recessed in plugs and outlets throughout the unit, which is a very exquisite and seamless detail that I wanted to mention. Front and the sides of these base cabinets are clad with the same Corian that we saw at the bar design. This is where we have the second sink second melee dishwasher. And of course, from here, we get the south exposure, amazing views. Literally, the whole city is right in front of you. Now, right behind me, we have this Molteni custom range and oven design. This piece looks stunning and it complements this kitchen so well. I love the knobs and the stainless steel finish throughout. And since this piece is so big, they actually had to assemble it in the unit here. They couldn't bring it as a one piece which is kind of crazy to think, but uh, again, looking at the size, I can see why. We have the griddle in the center, your cooktops on each side, and right above it, we have this hand-hammered commercial vent design, again, going with the color palette of this kitchen. 
Now I just realized I forgot to mention, this is a honed granite countertops. They have it also here with crystallized glass backsplash on this side for easier cleaning. And following this kitchen, it leads us to the other side where we have more of these hand hammered aluminum panels, two built-in ovens, warming drawer on the bottom. This is your freezer, fridge, and we have another fridge on this side. And I gotta mention this detail, right on top, you can actually see the cabinetry curving, which gives it a nice industrial and modern aesthetics. So I had to mention that. Right behind me, we have the pantry spaces here, again, clad with the same aluminum panels. Over here, we have an informal dining area with a beautiful table because it sits right in front of this amazing 10 by 10 opening where you see the south exposure views. Again, views from this apartment is phenomenal. I feel like we're gonna keep talking about the views throughout the unit. Now, let's get a close up here because I wanna mention this detail. Every room in New York City has to have a fresh air supply and they tucked it nicely below here. So I wanted to point that out. And over there, we have a suspended bar seating where you can appreciate the views and just enjoy your meal here. Great kitchen. Now, I wanna get out of the kitchen and continue our tour. And while I do that, I wanna mention something that's very uh, important about this unit. Throughout this unit, we have shikui plaster walls. Now, shikui is a traditional Japanese plaster with lime and a lot of natural aggregates, which is why it's actually good for indoor air quality for the unit or anywhere that's been applied. It actually sucks the VOC and CO2 gases from the air, so it's good for your health. It looks phenomenal. In fact, they brought five artisans from Japan to install the plaster throughout this unit, which is just uh, astonishing to think about. Now, we're in the secondary hallway here with beautiful handmade ceramic tiles. And following this hallway, we actually have two powder rooms that I wanna cover. The same hallway leads us to the salon that we toured earlier. And this sliding pocket door is opens up to the first powder room. We have a Hinoki Cypress vanity design here that looks stunning. It has a recessed and sink design with a stainless steel bottom, wall fixtures, Tawada tough stone that we're gonna see in other bathrooms in this unit in a bit. Overall, great powder room. I, I gotta mention, I mean, this vanity setup looks stunning. Yeah, it's really nice. I love, uh, I love this little wood slats they have covering covering the uh, the drain. The precision millwork in this apartment is stunning. It really is. Now I want to bring everybody back. This is where we have the second powder room. Pretty much the same finishes. And going back, we have the family room on our right hand side. But I gotta talk about this statement piece here. We have this large stone placed on the ground, handpicked by Hiroshi himself, and is surrounded with this gravel concrete mix that has been acid washed. And if you follow this acid washed concrete, it also serves as a reveal detail on these hallways. I mean, these are details that I've never seen in my life before. Hiroshi did a phenomenal job and we wanna make sure we cover every bit of them or we're at least gonna try. Now, right behind me, we have this sliding pocket door opening us to the family room. Warm suiting tones, light color palette throughout. We have the seating section on this side that looks really comfortable. And on the other side, we have the TV mounted on the wall with built-ins. And talking about built-ins, we have more on the other side of this room. I love these horizontal shelves broken by these vertical steel panels that gives this shelving design a nice industrial look. We have LED lighting down below. And focusing on top, we have this beautiful co-ceiling light detail with the curved ceilings, again, warming up the space. Now, since we are at the south and east corner, again, views are phenomenal. Sorry for mentioning them all the time, but I gotta talk about them. When I'm facing south, you can see both Hudson River and East River and whole city. And over here, since we're facing the east corner, again, East River is down below us. This is phenomenal. This is your family room where you sit down and hang out. Now, there's one more detail I wanna mention here. I gotta talk about this carpet design that resembles Zen Garden because Hiroshi, the architect of this unit, calls this apartment floating in our garden. The reason he calls that is because of the textures and wood tones and the way he designed the entire unit. And if you look closely to the details, you can actually see these reveals throughout, acoustic plaster on the ceiling. And over the last 12 months, we've been in a couple apartments here in New York City. And I gotta say, without a doubt, this is one of the most tranquil, grounding, quiet apartments we've ever toured on this channel. We are at 79th floor right now, and it is super quiet up here, so peaceful. It doesn't even feel like you're in the heart of Manhattan. Now we're back at the hallway. This door opens up to the laundry room. And continuing our tour, we have this 
sliding glass door. By the way, let's take a quick look. I love the acrylic panel right in the center and the brass trim detail that we see throughout, that precision cut. And this door opens up to the first bedroom for this apartment. We got beautiful natural light coming in, chestnut hardwood floors, another window opening that is facing the east, bed set up here. Even the bed frames are built out custom for the space. I love the LED lighting right behind it. It has some open shelving on each side where you actually have outlets that are nicely tucked into the cabinetry. We have a desk set up here with acrylic leg and Mike, you're gonna show this detail. We have this built-in wall here. By the way, I love the millwork and the precision. And if you look closely right to this detail, they have the outlets nicely tucked into the wood paneling. Beautiful. Now, this sliding door opens up to a Jack and Jill bathroom because this room shares a bathroom with the room next door, but the bathroom itself is super spacious. We have dual vanities set up that are floating. Right on top, we have the floating mirror design, and I love how they left the section kind of recessed in with LED lighting that draws your attention towards the vanity. Toward a tough stone throughout, and they carried out the stone on the walls all the way into the walk-in shower. Let's take a quick look. Very spacious, we have the chrome fixtures here. Good size walk-in shower. Right next door, we have the water closet. And I wanna bring everybody's attention back to this section. Another beautiful 10 by 10 opening here uh, with a freestanding tub, tub filler. It's hard to not talk about the views in this apartment because every room we go into, this is what you're looking at. I feel like you would never need a TV in this apartment, in this residence, because you just look at the city and enjoy the views. Now, that's it for the bathroom, and I wanna take everybody through this opening because this is where we have the second bedroom. Pretty much the same size and same finishes. You have your built-in desk set up here, and right across from that, you have your built-in bed set up with LED lighting, open shelving on each side, more built-ins here, another window looking at the east views. Now, we have the walk-in closets on each side, and coming back to the hallway, we got one more room to see here and it starts right here. As soon as you walk in, we have some open shelving here. This is the most spacious out of all the guest bedrooms. We have the bed set up on this side, again, light and bright, built-in desk, and this one is facing north and east views, and you have your money shop right here, which is Central Park. I mean, you can literally see the entire park, lakes within, upper west side, upper east side, you have the Park Avenue right in front of you. Um, these views are breathtaking. These rooms are very spacious. And again, the whole apartment has a, such a warm and inviting feel to it. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the small hallway to check out the bathroom for this room. Toward a tough stone, again, throughout. Freestanding tub, tub filler. You have a walk-in shower here. Water closet is right behind me and facing the views. This is phenomenal. These bathrooms are so understated. And focusing here, we have the vanity here with some floating shelving, LED lighting, great bathroom. Now, I wanna take everybody back. We got one more room to see. And coming back to the hallway, this is where we have the fourth bedroom, very spacious, currently used as a music studio, has a walk-in closet, and around the corner, we have a full bathroom for this room. And going back, the hallway. Mikey, stay right there. I gotta show this detail. We have this sleek door design sealing off the hallway for the primary bedroom. And continuing our tour, we have the primary bedroom right at the end of this hallway. But first, I wanna take everybody to the bathrooms. This bedroom comes with a two bathroom and the first one starts right here. It goes straight into the walk-in closet or the dressing room, but first I wanna cover the bathroom. It starts right here. We have the sliding glass doors that pockets into the walls with beautiful brass hardware. And it's on that track system. Once you pull one side or close one side, the other side kind of closes or opens as well. It's all clad with brass on the inside and it takes you straight into the bathroom. Super spacious. Same Tovada tough stone that we've been seeing throughout. They also used it extensively in this bathroom. We have cypress wood paneling throughout on the walls, as well as the ceiling here with this lattice work. It is dropped down a little bit with subtle LED lighting, which makes the room feel a little bit more warm and inviting. Focusing on this side, we have the cypress vanity design here that I think looks stunning. We have the deep sink here, and you can actually see the stainless steel sink inside with the screen details, so it looks very minimalist, clean, and elegant. 
and beautiful Dornbach fixtures throughout. Your mirror design here with LED lighting and focusing back, we got this open, amazing walk-in shower here. The stone that we saw at the salon in the planter, Komatsu stone, they have it also here as well as kind of like a back feature, which looks stunning, gives it a nice texture to this walk-in shower. And right above me, we have this massive rain head surrounded by this steel paneling, which channels the rain head and I'm sure makes showering experience here phenomenal. Now, last thing, with this window opening, we have a nice brass panel right on top, tying in the brass details. And of course, look at these views. I mean, the fact that this is where you take your shower and these are the views that you'll look at. I don't know if there are many units or apartments in New York City that you can say, or you can have an experience like this one where Central Park and Upper East Side is your backdrop. This is phenomenal. Now, let's go back to the hallway for the bathrooms. Check out the second one. And this one also starts with the dressing room, just like the other side. Everything is beautifully paneled in. We have a lot of these brass leg and hanger details, as well as the tracks on the back. We have subtle LED lighting also with this curved design. So it kind of softens up the lighting a little bit more. We have the safe here, mirror design behind me, overall very exquisitely done walk-in closets or the dressing rooms. Now, I wanna take everybody to the bathroom. We have another vanity design here, wood tones, deep sink, just like the other side. We have the mirror right above. And focusing on this side, same old paving stones that we saw at the entry, they brought it also here with these big grout lines, making it feel like you're at a garden. You're in somewhere in Japan. I love the texture here, how this section is a little bit more raised than the rest of the floors in the bathroom. And over here, we have this beautiful wooden soaking tub that looks stunning, looks so earthy and just kind of very grounding and facing the same views, phenomenal bathroom. Right behind me, we have a walk-in shower for this bathroom, rain head above, chrome fixtures. And over here, we have the water closet and some open shelving. Now, Mikey, before we leave, I gotta show this detail. Look how beautifully recessed in these outlets are to the stone. Um, I just feel like I keep seeing more details throughout the apartment. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the primary bedroom hallway, continue our tour. Of course, we have plaster walls throughout. This is the pocket door I was mentioning earlier that opens up straight to the tea room. And this pocket door opens up to the primary bedroom suite. Now, this room is phenomenal. You get north and west facing views. The whole city is down below you. I mean, this is incredible. This is your primary bedroom suite. And looking on this side, we have the west facing views, billionaires row right in front of you. You have all these tall skyscrapers in front, Hudson River. And on this side, of course, we have the iconic Central Park view, Upper East Side. It's phenomenal. Now, I wanna talk about a couple details in this room. We have the built-in bed setup here, king size bed, beautiful wood tones, and I love the flooring in this primary bedroom. So this is chestnut flooring with this hand-scooped texture, which looks kind of interesting, but when you walk on it barefoot, it's almost like massaging your feet because you have all these textures, which is super cool. And I know we talked about this, but we haven't showed it yet. I wanna cover these shades. So I'm gonna hit both panels now. We currently have two of these shades coming down. So you can actually now block off the city view, but yet you can keep the sky all open or natural light coming into your bedroom. By the way, behind these shades, we also have an automatic curtain so you can fully black out the room if needed. But I wanted to show to everyone uh, how it looks once you have these shades down. Now let's put them back up and continue our tour. This primary bedroom gets three window openings. Again, 10 by 10, the whole city is below you. We have more built-ins on this side with a desk setup, acrylic legs, brass open shelving. And the last part of this primary bedroom is this amazing seating area where you sit down and you look at these phenomenal views of Central Park. 432 Park Avenue is an engineering marvel and one of the tallest residential buildings in the Western Hemisphere located in the heart of what many would say is its greatest city. The view atop 432 Park Avenue is immense. 
covering the entirety of Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, half of New Jersey, and 50 miles of the Atlantic Ocean. Floating this high above Manhattan, you can't even hear the cars, trains, and people below. It's like living in the clouds and watching the world from above. 432 Park Avenue is also a full-service building that features a 75-foot-long pool, full gym, library, and many more amenities. To live here is to truly experience the pinnacle of metropolitan luxury and style. Throughout the day, we enjoy the views and the sense of peace that this residence provides. But to get to watch the sunset on the city is something truly special. And that's it for the tour. What an amazing residence located on the 79th floor at 432 Park Avenue. Unit is phenomenal. We're a thousand feet above the ground and throughout the day we saw the incredible views that this property gets. I also want to congratulate the development team for doing something truly one of a kind here and executing it flawlessly with their materials and designs. I also want to thank the listing agents Noel Burke and Elizabeth Mercedes Burke for trusting us and giving us the honor to tour this phenomenal property and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.